There's the tools I'm going to be using. Some of them. Some uh, wheel studs or bolts. They're 19 millimeter. And then uh, the caliper rear bolts are 13 millimeter. There's a 10 millimeter holding the rotor on. So tools may change as they go. Here's all the parts we're doing. So we got brand new rotors. Just got to do the also check fit as well. This is uh, the park and brake spring kit. These have adjusters in them, which the originals didn't, shouldn't. This is the brake pads. The number on them. shoes those go inside the rotor that's actually a parking brake so yeah let me get started here first up I'm gonna do a 10 millimeter bolt if yours looks corroded rusted or whatever I would definitely spray some uh, in a or um, some lubricant some PB blast or something on it Next up, we're going to loosen up the ABS line, kind of twist it back and forth as you pull up and come right out. And it just pops off this plastic piece here. There's a plastic piece there. And then there's one more right here. Just want to make sure that's loose. Um, out of the way mainly because you're taking off the, the caliper so next up is the caliper caliper you got two bolts one's here one's below it use the rubber mallet Highly recommend a rubber mallet. Okay, that was broke. For okay, bottom one, same as the top. I use a rubber mallet. vehicle was pad slapped so it's got newer pads on these but since I'm changing the rotors there is grooves on the pads and you don't want to put those on brand new rotors so that's why we're going through this trouble Kind of just barely move around the caliper till you feel the bolt gets loose. And then you can spin it by hand. Or not the, yeah, the caliper. Oh, second bolt. It should be loose now. It's gonna be fun to pry off of here. Gonna probably need to add a tool to the list. Oh, we got it. Okay, that's off. As you can see, they're fairly new pads. But like I said, it's been pad slapped, so we're gonna hang this 
with my custom caliper hanger 5000 tool. Let's see if I get Jimmy. Tool. Yeah, it's time to pull the rotor off. All right, so this one's already already know gonna be frozen on. So I'm gonna use some PB blaster, let it soak. to this one maybe you have to do a little Sylvester a little sly action I'll let this soak a little bit I'm about willing the bet which is most vehicles I've done and then these are probably going to be the original shoes under here for the parking brake. I wouldn't doubt it whatsoever. So while I'm waiting for that, what I'll do is I'll pull these pads out of here. Really fun with the camera in a way. Definitely a three quarter pad, but like I said, this thing's some pad slap, so. These, there's no real issue trying to figure out which one's left or right or inside, outside, whatever. You know, the one with the piston has the center spring. where the path slides. Spring on for last, and then I'll replace that. Now I do have the. Uh, make sure you don't forget uh, the brake fluid reservoir cap is off. 
So when I go to push this piston in, you don't want to have big pressure in your system. And I do it very, very slowly as I push it in. Do not be in a hurry for that. Just like that. Look at that. Check it out. I think it has a problem. I don't think it's supposed to have a uh, shrapnel in the rotor. Looks like the bottom shoe is completely disintegrated. That'd be correct. The bottom shoe has no pad. There's the top shoe. Good pad. Bottom shoe, no pad. And like I said right here, there's the bar right on the bottom of that spring. Do it this way. This bar right here is where the new adjuster goes. So then I would assume you adjust it through one of these holes would be my educated guess. So Here's how the parts go in the shoes. So that green would be to the rear vehicle. The gray would be the front small one. And then you have your two blues. Those are your lock, lock springs, lock the shoes in. And then they're your adjuster. So let's go over here and look at this. You got your big spring here. That's your green one. This is your small spring, your silver one this bar you can reuse it or you can use the adjuster it's totally up to you i'm probably going to reuse this i don't know if i want that adjuster in there i'm leaning towards no um the, the thing i see with this adjuster is where it's located it's going to be hitting the spring. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to get the other way. But I know when this goes in, these teeth are going to be just pushing up on that. Um, so I'm probably just going to run that bar. Keep it all original. That's your call. So Tools I've added. Needle nose necessity for this. So start off with the small one the, the shoes go on one way you got basically a top and bottom and if you look at this very closely this oval hole that's got to go on the back side the rear not the front that's where the big new green spring goes goes on that side so don't put it in the other way, you're gonna take it all back apart again. All right, so now, we're gonna try to get this off. So, kind of just push in and go to the left and it comes out. Yep, so it's in now. Just push in. Boom, boom. Highly recommend using needle nose by scripts. The bottom one's the same. lock springs, retainer springs, whatever they're called. This whole thing should be loose now. This one has abundance of parts. Pad. So. Let's do 
a little love tap. Take that one in place and we will take this spring goes on the inside of that okay. Got it. Okay, so if you saw that trick, we'll just put the there's a roller here. Ooh, almost hurt. Put a little roller there. Take it and just. Okay, now we're gonna try to put this lock spring in. Actually, gotta try to find it first. It flew off somewhere. Here it is. Now it's in the fun part. Doing another spring. Retainer spring. So this is right there. I think it goes in this direction. Shoes are done. If not, I'm gonna have to go in there. Yep, I had a feeling. Oh, they fit. Okay. If it didn't fit, I was gonna have to go inside and adjust the parking shoe, but they fit. The parking brake. So now, I just need that 10 millimeter. company uh, I don't know if you noticed this. it's got a little bit of paint on it but they painted the, the hub 
up. Rotor up. Nice little feature. So, you don't crank this down. It's just a little bit past snug. Slowly, gently, mild pressure, Just let it go in slowly. Yeah. Right. I'm pop the old pad out. New pad. in here yeah lord that fits maybe when caddy wampus oh this is fun to do with the camera right in the way Goes. Okay, next pad. Take this. off here. Fun part getting the spring back on. Got it, finally. Mm, that's probably the hardest part. Got it. Okay. I got the bolts tight. Let's put your uh, put your line clamps here. Just you should be able to see right where they went. It's not critical they go exactly where they were. Yeah. 
Here it is. That's all done. Just gotta put the wheel on and rinse it and repeat on the other side. So that is the park and brake shoes and the rotor with the pads. That's how you do it. Very simple. So the Volvo XC90 07 and most of the other ones I know of are torque spec. It's 105 foot pounds. Okay, one wheel done, one more to go.